Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this is the last chapter of the project. So in this particular chapter, we are going to create an integration layer where our API layer will talk to the MongoDB. So before we start, uh, there is one typo. So just correct the collection name as collection underscore name. That's it. So we are inside our uh, use case employee.gov file and we are implementing create employee. So let's first start with the header. So the return type going to be of uh, application JSON. So for that we are going to add the right uh, w dot header add content type and uh, application slash JSON. So so whatever we'll return uh, it will tell okay it is in the uh, JSON format. Then the uh, response. So we are just going to create it. We are not going to initiate it. So let's just create it and then we are going to use the different statement differ statement to in the end to return the response so differ json dot new encoder write dot encode response so as it is a uh, post request so we are going to receive some body so that body is of json type so we are first have to convert it into the uh, struct type so for that we are going to uh, create this uh, variable called emp model dot employee and there we are going to decode this json uh, into this uh, struct field so for that we are going to use this json dot new decoder r dot body dot decode employee so we have to use the address of the employee variable then a variable check uh, sorry error check error is not equals to null and then if it is uh, if there is any error then we are going to write the uh, header status as like a bad request uh, of 500 and then the we'll just print the error as like uh, invalid request or invalid body and then simply error then the response dot error going to be the error dot error which is of a string type and we'll just return the function from here so which will trigger the refer statement there uh, then let's create a new employee id so for that we are going to use eu id uh, uid dot new string so what this function will do is like it will call two function internally first the new and then the dot string then let's create an instance of repository uh, so it's going to be repository dot employee repo and it will accept the mongo client or the mongo collection uh, connection so svc dot mongo collection so then we are going to simply call our insert function uh, so repo dot insert employee and then we'll just pass the our employee uh, variable so it will return the insert id and the error so then the basic check for error uh, if error is not equals to null we'll just set the header as a bad request uh, and the error going to be like a um, insert error something So once everything is done, then we just, we can simply return the employee ID which we created. So that's going to be employee dot employee ID uh, which is created using the UID, and the uh, right header going to be the status OK, which is a uh, status two hundred. So for that we are going to use HTTP dot status OK. And a simple log message as like uh, employee. Uh, successfully inserted or employee created and we are going to create uh, log the insert id or the employee id both the things like the insert id is returned by the mongodb and uh, so as our employee ID also is in uh, the url so the our employee. Uh, employee id from the so url is going to use marks so now RS. let's get with the get employee uh, by id RS so here this uh, right header and response will be the and same this will return up so uh, as we know uh, like in the url we are sending so the our id is id so we'll just log it like log enter n 
and employee id so that we can while debugging we can know like okay what id we have uh, sent so now let's create the uh, repository instance using repository.employee repo uh, more collection uh, more collection then we are going to use the get uh, uh, find employee by id and the employee id which we just uh, retrieved from the um, url so it will return the employee and the error so the basic error check and we will just uh, return the employee using response.data and right header going to be status okay so for get employee the things will be the same and the only thing uh, we can simply copy paste the thing and we just don't need the employee id that's it and just uh, change the function to find all employee and we are good to go so our get employee is clear. So for update employee by ID, uh, what we need is like we need two things. So one is the ID, so which we have retrieved from the uh, URL using mux dot uh, where's, and uh, and then the body which we are going to send. So that body we need to retrieve it. Uh, using uh, r dot body like that we have to decode it so the uh, the similar approach which we have opted for the post request we have to just reuse it uh, but for the update employee by id we have to add one more check here like if uh, employee id is not uh, uh, not empty string so during that time it can create a new employee or we can get a uh, get certain error so we just have to add a validation there as like invalid employee id and we'll just uh, yeah that's just a validation so if everything passed then we are just going to decode the body and uh, the employee by id uh, we have to just assign so that uh, when we are going to update it it will update all the fields otherwise if employee id is not there then it will just uh, set it as a empty string so then let's just create the repo instance and uh, we'll just call the repo dot update employee by id and it's going to return us the count and the error So basic error check and then we'll just assign the count to the data uh, response to data equals to count and uh, the header status is like right header HTTP dot status okay so that's it so for delete employee by id the thing is going to be the same the header and the mux ids and all so after creating the repo uh, repo instance so what we just have to call is like delete him delete employee by id so it is also going to return the delete count and uh, so those things we can just simply add in the response dot data so it is same as like uh, update and get employee by id so response dot data equals to count and uh, header is going to be status okay So delete all employee going to be the same as uh, delete uh, employee by ID except instead of employee ID we are just going to uh, delete everything. So just remove the get employee by ID uh, code and uh, just delete all employee. Yeah, that's it. So now all of our methods are uh, done. So let's just run the server using uh, go run main dot go and yeah this will start the server so our server is running on double four double four so for api testing we are going to use postman so just open it so 
our post services look like localhost double four double four slash employee and uh, as you can see our body is like mando bounty entry and uh, the data it return is like the employee id which is created so now if you just go to the get uh, all employee so there is if you see there is no id after slash so if you just hit it and you will see like it return the the employee which we just created uh, with a department as bounty hunter and the employee id so let's just create another one so let's just name it as like ashoka and department going to be suppose jedi okay so yeah so when we are going to send it yeah it uh, return a new id and if we just go and check for the get all employee if we can see the the employee just created so now just test our get employee by id so just copy the employee id and just uh, after this employee just paste the employee id and it will return a single employee so let's just update the employee so we will just update the name by din jarin and bounty hunter so if we just send it we can see like data is count is now one so and if we just get all the one so yeah name is updated so now just let's delete it uh hit delete slash then employee id and if we delete so delete data now it return as one is like delete count is one so if we check in the get okay that one is deleted if we check now let delete all so deleted the one employee and yeah so now we are getting as data as one so if we can see in the logs also like uh, all the insert id employee id and all so yeah that's it for this lecture uh, i hope you like this series uh, stay tuned and subscribe for more uh, such series in future thank you i'll see you in the next series